Kevin Rudd might yet find his way back into Cabinet, but for another of the party's key players, the political game is definitely coming to an end. The Finance Minister Lindsay Tanner announced yesterday that for personal reasons he wouldn't contest the next election. Mr Tanner holds the inner city seat of Melbourne by almost 5% and he has strong personal popularity. But with him gone, the Greens believe the seat is within their grasp. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports from Melbourne. I think is... Finance Minister Lindsay Tanner says he told Kevin Rudd two weeks ago that he was intending to retire. In fact, we had an appointment scheduled for 9.30am this morning <laughs> to consider this matter. And as you all know, by one of those strange quirks of fate that tend to occur in politics, other matters intervene. The Labor veteran says family is behind his decision to quit public life. There are, frankly, two little girls and indeed two older kids who need me more than the country needs me. And when I married my wife Andrea nine years ago, I said in the speech at the celebration that every day that we were apart was painful. Well, I'm afraid that that is still true. Labor holds the seat of Melbourne by a relatively slim margin of 4.7 per cent. The electorate is widely viewed as the heartland of Australia's political left. A Labor intellectual and published author, Mr Tanner has a strong personal following, which many see as responsible for keeping the green-leaning electorate in Labor hands. I think his personal following is sufficient to make the difference. I think that had he not been the sitting member at the last election, the Greens probably would have won the seat. And he's certainly not going to be the sitting member this time, and I think they will win the seat. The Greens candidate is lawyer Adam Bant. He's previously been a Senate candidate for the party. It's the only seat in the country where, on a two-party basis, the choice is between Greens and Labor. Uh, and all that we need is one in ten people who voted Labor last time to come over and vote for the Greens and we make history and win our first ever seat in the House of Representatives at a general election. The Greens have held a lower house seat before. In 2002, Michael Organ won Cunningham in New South Wales at a by-election, only for Labor to win it back in 2004. According to Brian Costa, the Tanner factor is going to make it difficult for whoever Labor chooses to contest the seat. It's going to be very difficult. Uh, for a candidate, unknown probably to the area, to come in and establish that rapport uh, in what looks like a very short period of time because it looks as though it will be to the polls sooner rather than later. What the Labor Party's got to get a message out is that, oh, it's all right to vote for the Greens in the Senate, they'll have the balance of power after the election, but what's the point of having a Green in the lower house where you, you have government? That's the message Labor will be getting out. It'll want a relatively well-known candidate but also one with good left-wing credentials. Labor is yet to announce its replacement for Lindsay Tanner. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Lateline.